Hey everybody, this is Mad Panda Games here, and today we're going tackling an encounter in the rain. Now, this is a short visual novel about a girl with a terminal illness who is standing in the rain and is offered an umbrella by another girl. It's supposed to be very sweet, so let's do this. Let's do this. I felt dizzy. My head was throbbing after all those procedures. I could hear mumbling of some sort. I couldn't quite make out what was being said. My eyes remained shut. Everything was dark. All I could hear were drowned out voices I could hardly decipher into words. I could hear the faint sound of wheels rolling, then coming to a halt. Still, an obnoxious beeping sound kept piercing through the barrier that muted voices, sharply pounding my eardrums. Oh, we're in the hospital. My eyes opened, stung by the dull fluorescent lighting. Everything was a blur for a moment. I wasn't sure where I was for a second. Then my vision cleared up and I began to remember. Oh, that's right. I'm here. A man in a white lab coat stood there in front of my parents, holding a clipboard. I felt so tired, I wasn't able to read anyone's expressions. However, I did hear the doctor's voice, understanding fully the weight of his words. According to her test results, this is your daughter's final diagnosis. Oh, that's not good. I'm very sorry. Oh. And an encounter in the rain. Looks like we're dying. It's cold. And wet. The rain was falling heavily from the sky. Even so, I continued to stand outside without an umbrella, letting the sky's cold shower soak me to the bone. Okay, so we're Van. Aw, oh, she does not look good. You can tell she's suffering. It's not like anyone really cares. People pass me by and don't even take notice. No notice of the girl without an umbrella. Aw. Cars pass by and splash me. I can't really blame them. They have places to go after all. Today's a school day, but that doesn't really apply to me. I'm sick anyway. Eventually, the day I no longer show up would arrive. I was practically a ghost already. I exist, but I'm not seen. Oh, I have nothing to say. No words will come out of my mouth. Even when I open up, my lips seal once again. Still, with a bit of a struggle, I command my vocal cords to release a la lament, lament, lament. It's not fair. I understand. I know it's not fair, it's sad. I can feel warmth stream down my cheeks, instantly cooled by the freezing raindrops. At least in the rain, nobody will know I'm crying. At least in the rain. I'm okay not to be noticed by anyone. It seems kind of fitting to be alone in this atmosphere. All the sad backdrops of fiction, or even reality, seem to happen during the rain. Rain. It's just like tears. Rain is sadness, emptiness, loneliness. That is what rain is. And now I'm allowing it to wrap around me, drenching me in its cold embrace. That way, when the numbness kicks in, rain can finally be my final comfort. Excuse me? Huh? huh? Shouldn't you be taking shelter or something? Oh, someone noticed us. What's wrong? Did you lose your umbrella? N no. Hey, are you okay? You don't look so good. Aw. Would you... like to come under my umbrella? Aw. Here. Huh? The girl outstretches her hand with the umbrella offering it to me. Take it. You can keep it if you want. Okay, let's accept it then. Thank you. I slowly take the umbrella from her hand and put it over myself. <laughs> now I'm getting wet. Then why'd you give your umbrella to me? Because you don't have one. Aw. Well, now you don't have one. 
So that was kind of stupid on your part. You think so? It's all fine by me. Getting a little wet won't kill me. Maybe it won't kill you, but I'm surprised I'm not dead yet. Huh? Oh. Never mind. Why were you out here in the rain without an umbrella? Was it on purpose? She sure catches on quickly. You could say that. But why? You could get sick. Ha ha ha, good one. There's no need to get sarcastic. But really, you could get very sick, and that wouldn't be fun, now would it? I'm already sick, so it doesn't matter anyway. What? Aw. Never mind. Well, whatever's wrong, I hope it goes away. That way, you could smile instead. Aw. She then waved at me and turned around, walking the other direction. Without her umbrella, it didn't take long for her to get soaked. So why did she give this to me? For a long time, I felt invisible. Whether they be teachers or peers, it didn't matter. It was as if I didn't exist. I could be standing right behind someone, and they'd never take a second glance. I'd be surrounded by schoolmates, and it was as if, ah, and it was as if they could walk right through me. If they bumped into me, they'd keep going like nothing even happened. They didn't even bother to get mad or yell at me. This must be how ghosts feel. I'm not even dead yet, and I'm already like a ghost. At this rate, I'll really take that form. I might as well be just that. A ghost. Because it hurts to be alive, and yet it's as if you don't exist. No one even cares enough to wish you didn't exist. How can one's existence be so ignored? Am I so worthless I'm not even worth the time to even be disliked? No! You're worth something. You're worth something so much. Well, whatever is wrong, I hope it goes away. That way, you can smile instead. I couldn't comprehend what had happened that moment. The initial shock of real human contact. A person I don't even know, expressing concern as if I were her best friend. It was all too much. I didn't understand it. I'm a person who is sick. I'm a person who no one cares to notice. I am someone whose time is about to run out. And yet... There's a light. But I don't think I'll get to see that light again. One month to the day, and it's raining again. I grip tightly to the umbrella that strange girl gave me, but I don't care to open it up. I don't care to shield myself from the rain. My, my! Why aren't you using your umbrella? Huh? I was shocked. When I turned around, it was her. She stood there, holding a plain black umbrella. It wasn't bright and happy like the one she gave me. Why don't you use the umbrella I gave you? N no, it's fine. Oh? It's fine. I want to get wet. But it's cold. You could get really sick. Who cares? I'm pretty much there already. What? Aw. I said too much. Is there something wrong? This is such a nice girl. She cares. That's none of your concern. Please at least use the umbrella. I'd hate it if you got a cold, or even worse, flu. Here. She walks over to me and opens the umbrella for me, handing it back. I have no idea why you want to get soaked in the rain so bad. Aw. It's... my release. Huh? I wish for the rain to take me. Ah, uh, you shouldn't say things like that. And why shouldn't I? I should have become a ghost a long time ago, because that's pretty much what I am right now. People pass me by like I don't even exist. Nobody cares about me. I'm not even hated by anyone. I'm not, I'm not anything to anyone. You're something to me, 
Oh, now that's beautiful right there. Huh? I know we really don't know each other, but I'd like to. Wouldn't that be just grand? Aw, I don't know. Tell me, what is rain to you? Eh? Well, rain is... I shift my eyes to the ground. Rain is... cold. But... it's also... a release. I want it to be. My final comfort. But that doesn't change the fact that... Rain will always be... cold. Really? So Rain is cold? Why isn't she frowning? Instead she looks... Pretty much. And in that context, you were referring to how Rain is everything connected to coldness. Huh? Rain is sad. Rain is lonely. When it's warm, it smells funny. Huh? It's true, though. Haven't you ever been poured down upon human rain? It's quite nasty. But that's not my point. Then what is your point exactly? You say rain is cold, but let me tell you what I say rain is. Suddenly, she closes her umbrella, allowing the rain to fall on her. I'm a bit taken aback by the sight. That was... random? She began spinning around, gigging like a happy child does when they're allowed to play out in the rain. Pretty. She stares up into the cloudy sky and says, Rain is cold, but you know what else rain can be? Rain is cleansing. It washes away dirt and grime, freshens the air. Rain is healing. It brings joy if you look for it. That's what rain is. Ah! She quickly turns back around, facing me as she grips both my hands. So you see, rain isn't all about despair. What are raindrops? Um, water? Exactly. And what is water? A liquid? It's life. Oh. She squeezed both of my hands and gave me the warmest smile. Cherish it. Cherish? Like there's anything to cherish about it. Please, keep using the umbrella. It's a precious thing. Precious? How? Well, look. It's covered in smiley faces. It always brightens my mood. Well, that's only partly the reason. Then what's the real reason? Uh... <laughs> Tis a secret. Anyway, I have to be on my way. My place is just around the corner. See ya. Goodbye. She quickly runs past me, but halts a moment and waves to me another goodbye. Huh. Aw. I wonder. Why does she care so much? We don't even know each other. Does it not, you don't have to know each other to care about a person. The next day arrives, and I decide to go out around the afternoon. Ah, uh, the air is rather fresh today. I guess rain is... cleansing. It's funny. I never thought of it that way before. But in a sense, rain isn't actually... sad. At least it doesn't have to be. But still, it will take me a little while before I'm completely convinced. Hey, it's you again, isn't it? Hello! You're so friendly. Remember me? How can I forget? I just got off from school. What about you? I don't go to school. Oh? How come? Just... reasons. I see. Thankfully, she decides not to press the issue, and quickly says something else. Hey, if you're not doing anything, would you like to hang out with me? Hang out with you? Yeah, it'll be fun! Oh, how silly of me! We haven't been properly introduced, now have we? My name is Natasha. What's your name? I'm... Vanessa. But I prefer if you just called me Van. Van, huh? That sounds cool. Natasha and Vanessa. Sweet. In that case, you have my permission to call me Natty. Natty? Uh-huh. That's my nickname. Anyway, it is a pleasure to meet you, Van. Let's be friends from now on, okay? I doubt making friends is this easy. It shouldn't be this easy. Why is she so nice? Um, thanks, I guess. Yay, now then, where to hang out? Aha, I know just the place. 
You'll have a lot of fun, I'm sure of it. Natty takes my hand and we run down the street, probably looking like morons. Where are you taking me? Right here. Are you hungry? I could buy us a little something to eat. Then we talk. Talk? Yeah. I know just the thing for you to try. Great. I didn't even agree to this. Natty runs off into the little cafe while I take a seat at one of the empty tables outside. I sigh, sitting quietly as my ears process the ambient noise of cars and passerbys. Feeling as if I was about to drift off to sleep, I'm suddenly awoken by... I'm back! Natty slides into the seat across from me, setting down a paper bag with her purchases. I'm sure you'll love these. She sticks her hands into the bag, grabbing various items and dividing them amongst me and her. Go ahead, try one. Okay, let's do this. I look down at the napkin lace goods that contained some sort of sticky rice treat and a couple of creamed filled donuts. Mmm, aren't they good? Uh, sure. I didn't even take a bite yet. I first began with the sticky rice one that was lightly powdered. It's very familiar and chewy. Mochi! So you are familiar with it. Mochi is actually pretty good. I love mochi. Yeah. Something wrong, Van? I'm just... not used to human contact. Huh? Well then, we'll just have to fix that. She continues eating her treats happily upon this declaration. I don't know what to think anymore. Aw. Just beautiful. Our day had come to an end, and the two of us walked back where she found me. She chattered on happily, and I just listened as we walked along hand in hand. Finally, we had reached our destination. Well, I guess we part for now. Y yeah. Did you have fun? I... I hesitated for a moment. Fun? What is that? I feel as though I had almost forgotten what that meant. Ever since the doctor had given me my diagnosis, I gave up. I had no friends. Nobody cared I existed. And suddenly, I was nothing but a ghost. My own parents seemed to keep their distance from me. But then... I was seen for the first time. You know what? Yeah, I did. Thank you, Natty, for being my friend. Aww. Of course. Let's meet up again next time, okay? You bet. She leans towards my ear and gently whispers. You're not alone, Van. I understand what it's like to feel invisible. Aw. See you later, Van. Wait. I reached out my hand, but she was already gone. I stood there, dumbfounded. Understand? You, of all people? I find that hard to believe, Natty. You're such a kind-hearted soul. You must have tons of friends. And yet you chose me. You chose to reach out your hand and lift me out of this darkness, this despair that's been haunting me. I've been walking alone with an unlit candle, and you shared some of your light to set it aflame. Now, I'm willing to fight again. Aww. And that was it. That was freaking beautiful. That was beautiful. Yep. Good job, guys. This was this was a good, short, sweet visual novel. I loved it. I hope they make more like these. These are just great. Do 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 do. I I love the music. I just love the music. Look at that. That's just so freaking beautiful. And so I guess I'll sign out here. This is Mad Panda Game signing out. If you like my content and you want to see more content like this, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Once again, this is Mad Panda signing out. See you later, guys.